Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechTracker.info and today we're taking a look at Bluetooth, especially Bluetooth headsets with microphones and why don't they quite work? That's a question we're hopefully going to answer today. So let's first take a look and a listen at what it does under Windows. After that we'll take a look at what it does under Linux and after that a conclusion of who, what, where, when, why. So here we go. So I have just hooked up the eFire headset to also output the hands-free mode. If you look into your Windows settings, you'll see that you have a stereo output and a hands-free mode. You need to connect the hands-free mode if you want to use the microphone. If you use a stereo, you get better audio quality output, but you can't actually use the microphone. So as soon as you enable the microphone, the audio quality goes down and all you're going to be able to do is, I do believe it's dual mono that it sends to your headphones. So the quality will go down massively, but it should still work. And this is how the microphone sounds, so it doesn't sound too bad. Um, I thought it would be worse, but it's not the end of the world. This is a second test with the enhanced audio feature, or allow the headset to enhance the audio turned off on the headset. So let's see what the difference is with this. And again, I'm noticing that the initial audio volume is rather low, and it seems to be slowly ramping up as I'm talking. That's why I'm continuously filling this with talking just so we can hear that ramp up happening and by the looks of it it is already going so it takes a while before it actually gets the full volume which is rather odd but it does seem to figure out what the best setting is so that's kind of a nice feature but also kind of a weird feature the volume for the microphone is set to 100 percent and as you can hear at the beginning of this section it was considerably lower than it is by now testing one two three testing one two three this is the audio under linux and it seems to be doing the exact same as Windows, where it's slowly ramping up the volume and just being a weird ass of a microphone. Audio quality is definitely not as good as it is with the HD audio. And again, you have to switch between the two. There's no HD audio as well as voice. They're two separate things, and you have to actively switch those profiles in order to use the benefits of either. One being a microphone, and the other one being able to have HD audio. Now, I'm going to try to make this audible for you guys. So I put the headphones right next to the microphone, so hopefully we'll pick it up. And we will start off with putting the headphones into the HD audio mode, which they are right now. And I'm going to play some just random music from uh, YouTube library here that's free to use. So here we go. Sounds pretty groovy, pretty good. Now, let's switch over to the um, other mode, which is required if you want to use the microphone. I don't know how well this translates, but the entire volume out of the audio is just gone. The fullness of it is just gone. It's just like they took a hammer to it and flattened it. So again, this is just, as far as I know, a Bluetooth issue and not so much a Windows issue. Let's pause that. Um, or the combination of the two. So, as far as I know, a couple of facts. There are headsets that can do it. There is a proprietary technology that allows um, Bluetooth to be used with my guess, but this is just pure speculation, but my guess would be that they're using a dual sending receiving antenna or something or dual chip to receive and send at the same time, because that is the issue. You're basically using a one lane highway. So you can either send HD audio, or you split up that highway into two lanes, and you send a microphone to your computer, and send back a mono signal, and split that on the headset. Those are currently your options with Bluetooth. Why this is still a thing is completely beyond me. But that's the facts, but there are companies that have made it work with proprietary technology in combination with Bluetooth. Um, that's why you see a lot of gaming headsets and just headsets in general for like computer with microphone will be on 2.4 gigahertz and not so much on Bluetooth because of these issues. So there is a way around it, but you're gonna have to really dig into the headset you're looking at to see if that's the case. So this is just something that's wrong with Bluetooth. This is not something you can fix. This is not something you can do anything about as far as I know. This is just 
these are facts, this is all you can do, sorry. <laughs> um, I wasn't aware of this issue until I got this headset either. I got mine just for the audio, not for the microphone. In a pinch, it will do, but it's pretty terrible. Let's be honest, it really is terrible. So, there you have it. Bluetooth and just any operating system. It doesn't even matter if it's Windows or Linux. Or... I haven't tried Android yet, but I'm going to assume it's going to be the exact same, because same issues. It's just the Bluetooth uh, protocol that doesn't support it at this point. Um, this headset is Bluetooth 4.0, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe this was fixed in 4.1 or 4.2. That I'm not 100% sure of. But both devices will need to be that version if you want to support it. So maybe this has been fixed in later versions, but at least up to version 4, this has not been fixed yet. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of video, then please subscribe. We'll uh, try to do these more often, more in-depth analysis of technology, how it works, what it does, what you can do with it, what you can't do with it, limitations, and possibly how to overcome them. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.